So hello everyone and welcome back to Tony Potato's career mode and um, well after a pretty dismal performance uh, last time on in San Marino where we kind of got crashed out with our, te with our teammate um, it was a bit of a weird uh, accident in all honesty but um, we're now on the road of on a streak even of uh, three Grand Prix uh, which we didn't finish after what was a pretty decent start uh, of the season at Bahrain so we're here today for round number five at uh, the Grand Prix of Europe uh, at uh, the Nürburgring so without further ado it's time for us to travel to Germany and there's an advert for Renault which we obviously aren't go to mess around with it because let's be honest they won't they don't want a driver that has missed the last three races um, Williams rumored to be recruiting soon not interested uh, because we just wouldn't get the, the job anyway so uh, will it be another Renault win? We'll have to wait and see. So, it's time to go for our first session with Tony Potato. The practice session at Nürburgring. Here we go. Okay, I may have misclicked. Severely. So we're doing something completely new for this practice session apparently. So we'll start the evolution. Which will do something. Oh boy. We've put on fresh tires and then. Let's go. Oh, it had to be raining. Of course. It doesn't even look that wet. Where's the water? Also, I must say, although the the Imola race came out just a few days ago, I haven't played this game for maybe three weeks, four weeks maybe, maybe a month. So I will be a bit slow. Especially as this wasn't one of my best tracks or either the win the interest conditions, so I'm sorry, but this seems very dry. What am I doing on inters? <gasps> yeah, we're not we're not very good at that corner. And we're gonna cross the line on a very dry track on inters and apparently the test is complete. We've changed the new tires for worn one so we can see how these perform when the car is running heavy. I'm not sure where they got to have the worn tires. I'm gonna be honest. But you know, just go with the flow bro. Okay, I know I said they said worn tires, but look at the condition of these tires. Like in in San Marino, we didn't even got to this bad state of tires, Jesus. That is insane. Look how bad the rear tires are. Okay, yeah, they're definitely worn. That is insane. Look at the wear on the tires. You, have, you can actually see, even on, on this crap potato quality. Just look how bad the tires look. Damn. Why didn't they do a F1 2007 2008? I'd love to see that. I know there's always our factor, but it's not quite the same. What? Okay. Can we? Please start going. Thank you. I still don't understand why are we. Why are we? Why we are 
one enters the track seems where am I going? Uh, the track seems pretty damn dry I'm so afraid of corner cutting that chicane genuinely and there is Tony with an amazing lap of a 139 point something we reduce the amount of fuel in the car on new tires okay we're still on win or winters we're now on winters uh, next time we're gonna use our summers yeah good all right we we yeah area completed woohoo so now we can do all of these uh, you might not see all of them but I think I'll, I'll just do all of them all right that's the downforce done the first setting at least um so lap A was on 50% lap B was on 75 and curiously enough on lap A we were half a second slower the middle sector doesn't quite change as much on the last sector that we gained 6 tenths so I think hmm I think I'll stay with the, the first one. Uh, the downforce was decreased to 37.50%. Alright. Let's do this! This is actually quite interesting. I mean, I like how they they, they did this. And um, if Codemasters kind of did the same uh, with their R&D and the practice with point and everything, it will be brilliant. I mean, this is actually pretty good. The only downside is that every time you finish uh, a lap time, a lap the time, a lap, a timed lap. There we go. <laughs> um kind of puts you back on the garage so that's the only really downside of the of this system on this game so I mean it's, it's still helpful which is massively helpful uh, because it actually knows what it's doing and it's helping you know how you should probably run with your setup but um, yeah, it's certainly a different way of doing the practice session, I'm going to be honest. And a bit of extension there. Oh god, we're going places. Will we ever hit the, this apex of the last corner though? I don't think so. But let me know in the comments if you think we'll ever ever hit that um, thing uh, wow we got yeah next area please suspension current suspension settings are 33.33 okay um, but nevertheless I mean let me know um, if from now on you prefer uh, the practice sessions like this like they are right now like me we just basically doing one lappers to see if I can um, get a better setup for the qualifying and race and everything or just like the, the previous ones where it's just literally me uh, running a, a few laps uh, consecutively just trying to get the, the rhythm going and uh, just trying to learn it's not learn the track because I know the track 
but kind of get used to the game basically and the car and uh, the different model that the, the tracks have on this game so make sure you let me know on the comments or tweet me or do whatever you you prefer to let me know how the practice sessions should be uh, from now on starting on uh, Spain I do believe is the next track after after Nürburgring so yeah let me know then on the comment section as we let the Red Bull go past What are you doing, mate? Oh, we stopped on the track. God, that is not good. At least we hit the apex of the last corner. Yep, there's an apex somewhere. Right, that was a terrible lap. Um, but the suspension... I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really like that, and we were very, very slow. So, let's see the camber now. Let's see what's the difference. Oh my god, okay. This camber makes the car. How can I say? Very tail happy. Under brake, oh my god. Yeah, we're definitely not choosing this setup. I can tell you that. I mean, we already have enough problems trying to deal with the car. That's hard. Hey! Yo! Oh boy. Oh, doing a lap will be a challenge. Okay, this is this is more like we're used to. I'm gonna be honest. So there goes Alonso and the last me pass because Fuck Oh there we go. Our lap was going decently until we had a small issue so yeah we're definitely going back to where we were before as we have quite a drastic turn of events there how 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 oh no <laughs> that was dangerous Crap! We're on a good lap as well. I guess we need to go back to the pits because other than that we're gonna run out of fuel. Yeah. I never know I, I, I never know what to do on these moments because if I break the car definitely spins. If I don't it's a uh, it's kind of the same issue. Okay, that was that was a curb. That was a curb being a bully. Anyway, into the pits we must go. Also, shouldn't we um, maybe change to the dry compound? You know, just just a little suggestion. However, the god has absolutely. <laughs> No turn in whatsoever. See? Just doesn't turn in. Oh my god, that would, that would be embarrassing. Can we, can we have a cheeky P lane entry? Yeah, we can. <laughs> so, I. This balance doesn't seem to work either. Tire warming and wear. Well, we probably should try this. Uh, although I definitely think we're on 
on the wrong compound that um, they are not running the enters anymore which makes perfect sense so the reason why I'm driving them it's yet to be explained the cars feel like a bit more pointy not sure if that's a good thing though yep told you we we, we were faster on um, uh, the first two sectors but uh, we kinda lost a second on the last one although we gained a lot in the middle sector Jesus I'll stay with the first one because it just doesn't feel right uh, so we'll finish evolution we would advise on a three stop all right so we'll be doing a three stop uh, later uh, when the race comes so there you go spoiler spoiler alert and um, I um, I don't really know what to do uh, for the rest of the season for the um, the rest of the practice session even so I guess I'll just run some more setup indications and um, if anything exciting happens I will let it know or someone's engine exploded that's always nice where's the oil though there it is almost sent me to Narnia <coughs> god don't yeah don't sneeze while you're at a chicane it's not um, not helpful curiously enough okay so apparently that was it for the practice session um, I do believe we finished only ahead of our teammate because we obviously we're running uh, the enters uh, for the whole session until the end so we did some progress on the setup I think uh, so that's good but uh, nevertheless uh, don't forget to tell me uh, down below if uh, you want this uh, kind of practice to stay so basically do the race evolution at, um, on the Friday instead of the um, Saturday practice which is basically me running around during, uh, for an hour trying to learn uh, the car and the track so let me know which one you prefer to see which one you prefer to watch and um, it shall be like that uh, for the remaining of the season but nevertheless thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you soon for the qualifying of the Grand Prix of Europe here at uh, the Nürburgring